Hey guys, uh, it's T1 here. Just gonna be making a really quick video on how to kill the CC uh, for hog attacks and a couple other pointers. So my internet's being slow as shit. Okay, so the first attack I did... 16. So before I get to the... Uh, the CC kill, I'll just say that if you have a strong suspicion um, that there's a giant bomb sort of like in an outer compartment, um, but there's a defense protecting it, then uh, it's usually a good idea to send in like a mini squad of hogs to take out the defense and path over the giant bomb spot. Uh, so that's what I did. I just sent in three hogs here to take out the archer tower and then path over the giant bomb. And, uh, that triggered that giant bomb spot and triggers the uh, CC. And then just like usual, I put my archer in the corner to, tr uh, to lure the CC over. <clears throat> okay, and then at this point, so the correct way to kill the CC to save, to save the most troop space is, I personally use three wizards. But the secret is just to bring a bunch of extra archers to act as decoys so that the dragon takes out the archers and not the wizards. So this is how I do it. Archer, three wizards, and then you just keep dropping archers right underneath the dragon. And then the dragon just keeps on attacking the archers. And the wizards live. Didn't lose one wizard. So just like that. Um, so yeah, I, I only use three wizards. I have five left. Um, and what I've been finding lately is uh, is a good strategy is to actually place the wizards instead of just all placing them at the south here to sort of save them and then place them sort of surgically along the outside as the hogs path through the base. Because like, look at all this junk that the wizards can take out. It, it saves a bunch of time and that really helps with the uh, minus 30 seconds after the update. So there's that one. I'll just do one more quick one, just for one more quick example. So actually, this is pretty much the same as the last attack. I, uh, I I did a mini hog squad from the top here to just take out this one defensive structure and pre-trigger this compartment here, which it turned out there was a double or sorry a single giant bomb at. Uh, and then since there was these three point defenses. I, I used a, a squad of four hogs instead of three. And they path over the giant bomb. Uh, and then I triggered the CC with just a barb. Um, I also triggered a skeleton trap. So I used a poison to take those out. And this one was a little bit messier just because the skeletons were there. So I think I lost two wizards, but even still that's not, it's it's better than losing six wizards, which I've, I've seen some people in the clan do. So, you know, three wizards and then just keep spamming um, archers underneath the dragon to save the wizards. There goes one wizard. And I actually, I could have brought more archers for this one. Okay, so two wizards gone, but I still have five left. Uh, so I do my surgical hogs, and then I place the, the rest of the wizards around the periphery as I clear the core defenses with the hogs. Um, oh yeah, another thing I did this war, or this attack, because there was corner huts, I brought extra archers to place on the corner huts, which is a good idea. Like, once you take out the CC, just one archer per corner hut, it can save a bunch of time. It can make the difference between 99% attack and 100% attack. So yeah, um, try to use this technique when you're taking out the CC with hog attacks. Um, it definitely saves troop space, and uh, yeah, every little bit helps. So good luck. See you guys.